So another Andy B two minute video. Um, on this one, I'm, I'm sitting in my car outside of a dental surgery waiting for Joe, who's having a bit of work done. Um, and, and I was encouraged by a couple of things which I want to encourage and challenge you with. Um, Matthew 7, the first um, part of verse 16, says this, you will recognize them by their fruits. And then it goes on to a grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles. 17, so every healthy tree bear goods, bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. And I was struck this morning also by a comment um, posted on Ding Dash by my friend Alan from Scotland, who said this, don't shine, on, don't shine so that others can see you. Shine so that through you, others can see him. And that's a quote from C.S. Lewis. And what really struck me as I was driving Joe to, uh, to the dentist this morning, and I'll take it on to work and I'll collect her tonight, is we should be visible as Christians, as disciples, as followers of Jesus Christ. We should be visible because of our love for Jesus Christ. People should see us and know that we're Christians. Why do they do that? Well, the fruit, what's the fruit? Well, the fruit is the stuff that sticks out from, from the tree. The trees are great, but it's the fruit that we consume. And it's those bits of fruit that we need to see in people's lives that show us if they're saved or not, if they're disciples of Jesus Christ or not. So today, my little bit of um, fruit that would be evident is I've taken time out of my day, got loads to do, but I'm taking my wife to the dentist and I'm taking her on to work. Not a very pleasant thing that she has to have done. Um, we're grateful to God that we've got the money for that and we've got a dentist and all that stuff. But it's a really simple thing for me to come, bring Jo, take her to work, come back and get her tonight. So feel, she feels loved and, 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 and supported and all that kind of stuff. But the, the question really is, do people know you by your fruit? Do they know that your actions are pointing them to Jesus Christ or your actions pointing them to yourself? Because as Christians, we shouldn't be pointing stuff at us. We should be pointing stuff to God. Lecrae had a song not long ago and it simply said, um, I, I, I can be the background. And Lecrae is a very, very well-known uh, American um, rapper, singer, uh, really great stuff that he produces. We enjoy that. But he was saying, I want to be in the background because God is more important. So is God more important in your life or are you trying to draw people to you? I often think about kingdoms and how we can build our own, but we're supposed to build God's kingdom. But as we see in verse 16, you'll recognise them by their fruits. Are you recognisable as a follower of Jesus Christ because of what your actions are doing? Words, they're great. Actions, far more important. Action, that's fruit. Words, not fruit. So what are the actions in your life today that are showing that you're a disciple of Jesus Christ? And where can you help somebody today to see Jesus through you? Just a thought.